and the people who certainly will not morning continue throughout the day and tomorrow very important. That's the resource person who says talking about I'm not making the work. But that's just so give them design. We normally will be thinking about the leg essential of the conversation. And so this morning and on the bigger looking at us and tasking us and having said that, I would also want to welcome on the day we have for us to know who we are meeting with so that as we interact, we will be able to meet some other important. On the day once again, we have Mr. Ben uh, from the Minerals Commission. We have the whole CEO also coming for us. But again, formality demands that we introduce an associate professor at the University of Education with the man. We have also the man in the middle is not a politician. He is the director of the regional city of Buffalo. Ladies and gentlemen, you are welcome to this. Uh, thank you very much, um, Mr. Chairman Buffalo. That is the district of which the action project is located. The human policy of developing our people in pursuit of excellence. And when we say we are developing our people, it's not restricted to rebuilding the capacity of our internal stakeholders, that is our employees and contractors, but also expanding the context of capacity building to the key stakeholders who are associated with the company. It is our hope as a company that this two-day training workshop will be able to achieve the objective that the organizers and the facilitators and we are happy to have a Savannah Communication Limited doing this program. We are hoping that at the end of the day, the objective that we all set for ourselves will be achieved in 2002. That is when we establish our presence in Ghana. And when I say new month Ghana, I'm talking both in terms of our project in Africa and the one in Achille. And that is why I said our presence in Ghana dates back to 2002. We believe in long-term success, and we also believe that this long-term success depends on creating value and wealth, and also operating in a socially and environmentally responsible manner within the communities in which we are operating, and then in Ghana. We also believe that the maximum benefits of this project can come from one, Empowering our people to improve upon their own, enhance capacity of social institutions and groups, enhance ability of people to work together towards a common vision, and also the creation of opportunities plus the capacity of local people who are the direct impacted people of the project to also take advantage of the opportunities that is going to be created in the presence. Of the project. Why, when you look at the Millennium Development Goals, the final goal, which is Goal 8, talks about global partnership. And for us in the Premier of District Assembly, we see Newmont as a corporate partner that is going to help us in creating employment and also helping with socioeconomic development. Newmont has been in our district for the past six, seven years, working on preparatory stages for a very good mind. And looking at the interactions that we have had with Newmont, we have exhibited partnership that could be shared with partners like you, media personnel. I believe in strategic communication even as we are going to spend two days with you, we will expose you, we will try to share whatever lessons that we have done, we have uh, had with Newmont in terms of partnership in social economic development, partnership in corporate responsibility, social responsibility, 
and creation of jobs for our people. I believe that these two days will offer us the platform to also share with you whatever it is and to also give you the opportunity to ask us questions and clarification. What I'm entreating the resource persons to help us do, that even as they do the interaction, they try to help us to understand strategic communication, because it's very important. If we don't communicate strategically, we are going to create problems for our people. We have a common objective, we have to have a common understanding, we have to have a common strategy, and your role is to provide a strategic communication to Newmont and to the people of Achim. On behalf of my people back in Brimlock District Assembly, I want to welcome you. Found out was an average of 0 0.78 grams per ton. If you can carry away a whole ton of the material you are mining, you will get just 0.78 grams. That's very negligible. Most galaxy operators are not interested in that. They're looking for high grade odds. And I suggested that maybe the reason they continue to mine is simply that the gold price is so high and they care virtually no cost. They don't need anybody to move the top over overburden for them. They don't need to grind anything. They basically scoop and wash. So there's virtually no cost to them. That's why they continue mining. The problem here will be the environmental impact we would have left us. So that's why we keep talking about it. And so let me emphasize that once again. But as I did say, I'm very happy to be here for the development of our country. And outside the relevant partnerships among the stakeholders, we will not achieve that. You want alone working will not achieve sustainable development for us. The large scale mining sector alone will not do that. The small scale mining sector alone will not do that. Indeed, the Minerals Commission alone cannot do that. We all need to understand we are stakeholders, key stakeholders, who if we work together, we can achieve that. The government at various levels giving direction as to the strategic view and then we picking it up, ensuring that we implement strategies, we implement programs and projects that will ensure that we get to it. The regulators are important, the operators in the industry are important, and let me say that civil society is very important, but the press has a very, very important role. And what is this role? You are placed at a strategic position where you communicate with virtually all of us. And a lot of times what you say carries a lot of weight. So if you misinform us, you lead us into big problems. But if you inform us aright, we can promote development in a big way. So it's very, very important that we all get to understand the issues in the same way. It is important that we don't keep quiet when we see things going wrong. We should talk about them so that we get them made right. If we do this, then the populace at large will be informed. And then with an informed population, we'll make sure that things are done to ensure that at the end of it all, we achieve sustainable development through the resources we have. So I'm very glad in welcoming all of you to this important workshop being organized by New Month Achim for Media Men. I am reliably informed that this workshop is aimed, among other objectives, to build the capacity of media men to enable them to understand the project activities of the company and other relevant issues related to the mining industry. It is disputable fact that the mining sector is the highest gross foreign exchange earner for the country since 1991 to date. Though this is a positive development, mining operations and activities are marked with serious human rights abuses, which include, among other others, pollution of water bodies that the local people consume, 
gathering to fires, torture of landowners, 